Hi, you guys. Welcome back to Inside the Hem. I'm Lindsay. This is Biscuit. Honey's hiding, as usual. <laughs> we are going to look at every single independent pattern that I could find that was released in October. So if you weren't paying attention on Instagram, you missed their email, you will be able to find the new pattern releases here. So there are many of them for October. So let's get into it. All right, starting off with the Cashmere Club pattern for October. If you're not familiar, the Cashmere Club is a monthly subscription where you can join and you'll get a new pattern every single month. If you join the annual plan, I forget exactly what that's called, then you'll get access to all the back issues or all the back patterns as well, the ones from the previous months, which would include this Swanton blouse. So this is a vintage style that comes in a wide range of sizes and cup sizes, R lots of mix and match vintage features, as well as curve friendly princess seams, which means no gaping, guaranteed, love that. As a bonus, you can also use the two Vernon shirt sleeves with the Swanton for even more options. I guess that was a pattern from a few months ago. Whether you want a full on vintage look or a classic chic blouse, the Swanton is calling your name. Yeah, absolutely, how sweet. So ironically, it has a pussy bow blouse. And I only say that's ironic because I literally just posted a video showing some ready to wear inspiration for, um, for pussy bow blouses. The one that I featured in that video wasn't even really my favorite. Um, I didn't, it was the, um, Oh, I can't remember who it was now, but the the bow itself was a little bit chintzy. It just, I don't know, it didn't look right. But this is a really good option. I didn't even know that this existed, um, which is the whole point of doing these videos, right? Okay, sizes zero to 32, cup sizes C to H, available to club members, blah, blah. Oh, all access level is the one where you can get uh, the ones from the previous months, which would include this one from October since it's already November. Um, so here are her measurements, textured viscose linen from Core Fabrics. Here's another version in a floral viscose twill by Core Fabrics. This is just like kind of like a classic button up that just has like the stand collar on it. Long sleeve with a little um, band there as well. Um, viscose from Joanne. So here are our line drawings. We have the princess seams they talked about, the button front and two fisheye darts. You know I'm a huge fan of fisheye darts. We have the pussy bow blouse, the the large bow, we have a small bow, and we have no bow. They all have a forward shoulder seam with gathers, um, and they all have a little uh, gathered short sleeve. So this must have been the sleeve from the other. So yeah, that's great. So in the full bust area, C and D cups have four and a half inches of ease. E and F cups have two and a half inches of ease. And then G and H cups have one and a half inches of ease. Is that normal? I'm not, I mean, I'm only ever usually sewing the smaller cup sizes, but um, I would think they would have closer to the same myself, but I don't know anything about sewing for a G H cup. Um, I've never ever had to do that. So, all right. And then at the waist, we are looking at what is that five and five eighths inches of ease for all sizes and then at the hip we're looking at two and three quarters inches of ease so that is interesting to me um it definitely lines up with what i'm seeing here do you see she's obviously a more fuller busted woman this is obviously more fitted on her bust we do have that five or so inches of ease in the waist and then it comes out but it is narrower at the or closer fitting at the hip for sure so kind of leaning into that hourglass shape a little bit that said i'm not sure she has five inches of ease at the bust i don't know what it, like how much of this they've pulled to the back you know to tuck it in so it's nice and flat across the front um yeah you can see here where she's been moving around some how it's a little bit looser so yeah, I think that those numbers make sense. They're definitely not um, like 
alarmingly off. I think if you made your exact size with um, those with that uh, those ease amounts, I think you'd be fine. It's just a matter of whether or not you're comfortable in that. So just keep that in mind. Remember you have five eighths inch seam allowances. So that's one, two, three, four. So if you took the least um, seam allowance, which would be like a quarter of an inch, that would give you half an inch per seam, one inch per seam lines. So that's one, two, three, four inches to play around with just within the seam allowance. That's why we have seam allowance, you guys, okay? All right, so that's Swanton, the club uh, membership pattern. They also released like a regular cashmere wrap pattern. This is like outside of the club. Anybody can get this. Um, and it's a sleepwear set, which I'm kind of obsessed with just from looking at this picture initially. Um, head to bed in style. Yes, for sure. The star is the camisole and nightgown featuring cashmere. It's famous wireless bralette. What? Fully integrated inside for total comfort and support. Complete your set with traditional piped pajamas, a nightshirt, two robe variations, all with optional details, including pockets to make them uniquely yours. Wow. 50 plus kits. Let's look at that. Um, bra sizes from 28C to 54J for the cami and nightgown. Cup sizes C to H for the pajama and nightshirt. Um, they have a sizing calculator that will help you. Wow. Um, cool, 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 cool. All right, beginner for the pajamas and robe, intermediate for the cami and nightgown, reiterating the sizes there, recommended fabric, light to midweight wovens, the robe mid to heavyweight wovens, okay, great, um, cami and nightgown, oh, oh, and the lace insert and the bra cup lining and the back lining and power bar. Okay, so they give you all of that. So it is more like lingerie sewing than it is just like a quick little knit tank top. Notions, you need quite a few of them. Buttons, elastic, piping. Um, so they break it all down for you on what you need for each piece. So interesting. All right, so... Yeah, lots of details on each one too. I mean, there's so many patterns in here. I could spend an hour just talking about this, but Cami and Nightgown has the built-in bra, no hook and eye or hardware, soft supportive fabric, fitted bust with slight flare at the hips, two styles or two lengths really, um, designed for comfortable knits. The pajama and nightshirt, gate-free design, relaxed fit, two hem links, two sleeve links, optional sleeve, cough sleeve, stripe, chest pocket. This is literally the only pajama pattern you'll ever need. Um, the bottoms, two lengths, comfortable waistband, relaxed fit, straight legs, optional cuffs, inseam pocket, side stripe, and decorative piping. And then the robe has wrap front design, hood or shawl collar, cozy sleeve cuffs, customized with optional patch pockets. Wow, amazing. Okay, so let's look at these photos really quickly. Can I zoom in? No, this is a non-zooming website. So cami, dress, pajama, shirt, and oh, they don't show the robe? Okay, this is the shirt and pants. This is the dress. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Wow, okay. Cami, super cute under like it has an empire waist love that i have so many of these i get them from goodwill don't judge me if you think that's gross um they're like two dollars and i wear them to death i mean all the lace ends up like ripping off of them basically um long sleeve button down short sleeve button down shorts pants dress and robe wow okay when I saw originally the $25 price point, I was like, mm, I don't know about that. But guys, like, look at all you get. It is one, what would it be? It would be one, two, three, four, five, six patterns. I'm not counting these because they're kind of like just variations on this. Six patterns for $25. That's not, it's not a bad deal. Um, especially because, I mean you will use this for every version of pajamas you'll ever need. Um, for what it's worth, this would also make like a really beautiful, sexy dress for like Valentine's Day or date night or something. Um, here are these versions. This, These are the ones that I buy from Goodwill. I love them, but they don't have built-in bras, not all of them. Um, so that's interesting. The little pleat obviously makes it comfy. There's a little double gauze. It looks like short. Here's the pajama pants and top. 
super cozy and then the robe adorable so 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 good the thigh ease makes me a little bit nervous but it looks better in the pants than it does in the shorts the shorts do seem a little bit constricting um, but the, yeah the pants fitting looks pretty good there may be a little bit of extra room in the crotch curve there pretty piping detail oh and look at the pearl buttons that's really really nice um, these kinds of dresses, so comfy. And again, for what it's worth, if you made it out of the right fabric and maybe lengthened it a little bit longer, it could be a dress that you wear out of the house too. Um, so keep that in mind. I mean, can't you just see that like two inches longer with like a little knee high boot? So good. So good. All right. Here is the back. Yeah, there is a little bit more room here in the crotch curve but you know you're going to be sewing that for your own body you're gonna be paying attention to that with your own measurements so um but just know that it is more roomy which honestly I end up making this adjustment so maybe for people who are that have big butts <laughs> um we wouldn't have to make as many adjustments as we knew as we usually would that would be good so so good how many oh oh inside out picture so that's how the, that, that is way more than a wireless, I thought it was like a shelf bra. No, this is like a full on wireless bra inside the garment. So interesting. There's the back. Great. I suppose you could do just a, just a shelf bra constructing it the same way that you're constructing the back and then for the front just recreating um the pieces of the front and again sewing it exactly how they tell you to sew the back so you don't won't have all these extra seams but very very interesting it i mean pretty beautiful fit on everyone this might be a little bit low through here just seeing some side boob um but yeah, aren't those beautiful? Okay, cool. Um, I do have an interesting uh, promotion for you guys for from Cashmereette. Their Cashmereette Club, the all access version, is on sale for 25% off starting today through November the 30th. This is some more information on the club. I will link this in the description box for you guys um 30 plus premium club exclusive pdf patterns uh 30 plus fitting master classes connect with other sewists around the world personal help from the team and bonus perks all year long including surprise free patterns and free enrollment in sloper school 175 dollars value so all access is currently 20 percent off but starting today and running through the 30th it will be 25 percent off and if you use the link that I have in the description box, then you will get an additional free pattern from the regular Cashmere site. Any of them of your choice. So there are just a ton of Cashmere patterns to choose from if this pajama set is not your vibe. Um, looking at the best sellers here, this is just an example of some of them that you can choose from for your free pattern. So head to the link in my description box, sign up for all access at the 20%, 25% off discount, and then add one of these patterns to your cart and the, and the pattern will automatically be discounted and you'll get it for free. How exciting. Okay, thanks, Cashmereette. Moving on, we are gonna look at Matchy Matchy Sewing Club's new October pattern. Um, this is the on deck popover oversized outer layer with vintage seaworthy details center horizontal seam buttoned side slits create a flattering a-line shape easily accommodating long sleeve tees and lightweight sweaters two buttons at the neckline um, sleeve cuffs with a simple open slit and a large front pocket add cozy character once cuffed the sleeve length will hit right above the wrists would you look at this it is very seaworthy. Um, they did some really cool stitching details here. That is fun. Two button closure, oversized fit, divided front pocket, button side slits, sailor collar option, 
open slit cuffs, A-line shape, full denim, hood option, top stitch details, center, horizontal seam, other fabrics, cotton canvas, mid to heavy weight. Amazing. All right. Simple shapes, easy construction, pattern includes it, includes sizes where the bust is 31 inches to 64 inches. Okay, here are the line drawings. Yep, they covered every detail there. Size chart, finished garment measurements. Um, it looks like we have a ton of ease throughout. So very, very roomy, but again, it aligns with what we're seeing here, right? A little bit more fitted through the bust, very roomy in the waist and very roomy in the hip. The length, I mean, I, you know me, I like mine to be a little bit shorter. Um, this feels a little long to me, but I can also see myself making the long version for more coverage for the type of wear that this would get. I'm not gonna wear this every day. It's gonna be like when it's raining or super windy maybe. I mean, I'm not really ever on a seat on a sailboat or out on the ocean. Um, so it'd have to like fit into my regular life, but it is definitely something that I don't have and a pattern that I don't have either. Okay, now we have Designer Stitch. Designer Stitch came out with the Estelle Pants. Semi wide leg pant is a must for every wardrobe, though not just any wide leg pant will do. Thoughtfully designed, not too wide, not too narrow, not too short, not too long. It's the Goldilocks of pants. Super flattering silhouette that will su suit almost everyone and makes a perfect pant for any occasion. Effortless comfort and style. All right, let's see what we've got here. So we've got a waistband that looks pretty straight, a fly front slant pockets, elasticized back welt pockets. And then the shape of the leg is really what she's kind of like honing in on as being like what sets hers apart. So here are some of the tester makes. A little chintzy on the waistband. Um, you kind of see also how it's like folding over itself. That might be because the interfacing isn't strong enough. Was there interfacing included? Um, I'm not sure. But leg line on her looks exceptional. They do seem to be high rise on everyone, which is good. Hands in pockets, hands in pockets. Yeah, here's another one where the waistband's a little bit folded. So maybe she doesn't include interfacing in the waistband but after seeing this if you're going to make these pants you definitely should more hands in pockets oh my gosh is there going to be a single photo without hands in pockets oh here we go thank you so much um although she doesn't show the waistband but you do get an idea of the leg line and that looks really beautiful hands in pockets i'm just ignoring all the hands in pockets here we go and a waistband okay now her waistband looks really good it might be because she used a more durable fabric maybe um or maybe she just had the foresight to go ahead and interface her waistband but man that does look really good i don't see a whole lot of wrinkles or pulling or anything anywhere um here's the back this could use some work there might be just a little bit too much in the crotch depth for her um, but again, those are all things that you're going to be checking on your own when you go to make your own pants. Can I just put a PSA out to all indie pattern designers? When you have your testers send you photos of pants or shorts, please tell them to take at least a couple without their hands in their pockets. I get it's awkward. I get it's uncomfortable, but we really need to see the shape of these on everybody without that extra bulk right at the hip. Thank you very much. Um, so this one might have some fit issues here on the side, maybe a little bit too big on her. It also feels like where the elastic starts, that's where the extra ease is happening. But I didn't see that on anyone else. That just might have been unique to her. Yeah, a good classic pant that's easier, easier to fit because you have the elastic waistband. So you really don't have to worry about the waist measurement too much. You can just focus on the crotch ones and those, that's plenty. <laughs> that attention, that takes up all the attention I have sometimes. So yeah, another pants pattern has hit the market. We have Ellie and Mac. They have their Connie casual jacket pattern. Um, this one is... Inf no information okay we'll just flip through the pictures then um it looks like your traditional shack oh here we go here's the description oh 
all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so mid thigh length straight hemline or hip length straight hemline or above the knee curved hemline, kind of like a dress. So it would be a shacketess. <laughs> a dress dress it all right so there's the long version the wrong side shows so that's important to note for this long version with the scooped hem you might not want to use a fabric that has a white backing um but it looks like just your yeah this is out of a fleece that looks really good your collar your usual sleeve maybe a cuff there patch pockets on the front snap closure this is the maybe the mid thigh with the scooped back this is a lighter weight fabric it seems also closer fitting she might have sized down hers is even a lighter weight fabric more of like a shirt Here's another one. This one has drop shoulders, the long sleeve with the cuff, patch pockets, buttons up the front, and the collar. That dress length, I think I would just th ditch the pants and just wear it as a dress. I think that's super cute. Oh, this one's really good. Very well made. Out of this like little Sherpa fabric. How fun. All right, great job, testers. Bonus tutorial, how to work with thick fabrics. Photos, instructions, video tutorial. Um, this is the tutorial here. Sewing techniques you will learn. Okay, great. Sizes, 2XS through 6XL. Drafted for a curvy fit size chart. Drafted for 5.5. Five. Um, and then here's the size chart. And... Um, inches so the bust is going to be 29 inches up to 67 inches um so yeah but then they also came out with ellie and matt came out with the penelope pleated woven blouse pattern so it looks like we have a v-neck with like a little like crossover pleat detail um and then just your usual sleeve options sleeveless um short sleeve with an elastic band i think a flutter sleeve and a long sleeve maybe two different kinds of long sleeves um consistently i find that their sleeves are too long um they were long on this pattern they're also long on this one um do you see how much is just scrunching here they're just very long um so that's something to check with the um when you're going to make the pattern well that's a beautiful little holiday top that sanded satin is so, so, so beautiful. You can find it at Joanne. I think I've seen it at some other like fashion fabric club type of places. But yeah, just your little simple, simple blouse with um, different sleeve variations here. Sleeveless. That's the sleeve with the elastic, the short sleeve with the elastic. Lots of people using these little satin fabrics for the holidays. I think it's so appropriate but they're all using the lightweight drapey type of fabric. Okay, so we've got two bodice options, front pleat or solid, two length options, high hip or hip length, five sleeves, V-neck, woven, video tutorial. All right, Waffle Patterns, who is like, like the, when I think of jackets, when I think of outerwear, I think of Waffle Patterns. Hers are just so incredible. It's wild to me that these are available to us as home sewists. I mean, look at all the details here. I mean, it's going to take me a long time just to even get us through this one. It's just got so much going on. Um, a set of utility jacket, removable hood, removable liner, unlined, loose slash regular fit jacket with stand collar zipper button opening featuring many utility details like elbow pleats back belt pockets with hand warming layer choose and mix the options of pocket types zip in zip out removable hood zip in zip out liner with inside pocket um, you can sew it without the removable parts see other photos refer to the blog post okay Light to medium weight fabrics, not too stiff. Woven jacket fabrics like denim, gabardine, twill, and canvas. Matching lining, removable liner. These are all the materials that you're going to need. It's a lot. It's a lot, that's for sure. This is not, I would not recommend this for a beginner. 
and even for it's even like a what do you call it when an um an adventurous beginner a brave beginner what do they call it whenever you're like you're a beginner but you just like to go for it it's that version of the intermediate it's like the brave intermediate the adventurous intermediate i think um or advanced so we're for sure Let's look at the photos, which are always such good quality. All right, so we've got the jacket, removable hood. I mean, it looks, here's the removable liner. Yeah, it looks like what you buy in the stores. Um, we've got some varying types of pockets. This is a zipper one. This is a patch one with a flap. More patch with a flap, but then you also have the welt pocket to put your hands in. Another zipper pocket here. The back has a yoke, a center back seam, and what looks to be elastic in the back. And these are your elbow darts so that you can move freely. I think these are snaps so that this becomes more of like a flap. Like, I guess if you're riding a bike or something, maybe I listen, I don't know. I'm not outside very much, but um, these are the body measurement charts. It looks like I'm guessing these, yeah, two, uh, 30 inches roughly up to 50 inches. So not the most size inclusive. Um, this one is pretty roomy. So we've got, what, seven inches of ease in the bust, uh, 10 in the waist, and five in the hip. I mean, roomy for a jacket, but not not that much. Not that roomy. It's still pretty fitted. Her patterns just get me so excited because they're just, like, beyond basic. You know what I mean? Like, she's just like, forget it. Home sewers can do amazing things, too, which I just... I love celebrating that. All right, so that's their new Kiki Kikyo Kikyo. I think if it's Japanese, it's Kikyo. All right, named patterns came out with three new patterns. We have the Lovisa denim dress, screaming me right. Um, love the A-line shape of it. Love the half placket with the collar all buttoned up. These buttons are a little big for my taste. Um, but we also have the front pockets, modern and urban, A-line mini jeans dress sewing pattern. So look out for this one come January, which is right around the corner. Um, large collar, chunky button placket, angular chest pockets, classic style, more edgy, handy side pockets, which are probably floppy pockets. If you know, you know. Uh, cuffed long sleeves. Pleats and slits on the cuff add volume and lightness to the sleeves, decorated throughout with subtle top stitching. Amazing. Okay, so this is as big as the photos are going to get. Oh, cute. I love the length of it. I love an A-line mini dress. Uh, you just, I mean, I'm obsessed with them. I love how they styled them here. This is exactly how people are wearing these kinds of things uh, in 2024, 2025. Um, again, the silver, big silver buttons aren't my jam. Um, but that's the beauty about sewing is that you can do whatever buttons you want. This is the subtle top stitching. They did do it in a contrast thread, but I don't think it was a top stitching thread. That's why it's kind of subtle. Um, they do have the, uh, whatchamacallits here, which does make the pocket want to stay to the front a little bit better. Oh, I have such a love hate relationship with side seam pockets. All right, so that's Lovisa. We also have the sauna puffer vest. Um, okay, well, it's giving a uh, bulletproof. <laughs> uh, smart and stylish puffer vest sewing pattern be layered over a sweater or turtleneck or under a light jacket for extra warmth. Yeah, under, under for sure. <laughs> High collar, zip fastener, patch pockets, and a belt with clip buckle. Um, fully open at the sides. Maybe because they made it in black is why it's looking so much like a like a bulletproof vest. Um, trying to imagine it not in black. Like, okay, let's imagine it in something. Usually denim is my go-to, but I'm thinking we need something like nylon-y. So imagine like a those florally pre-quilted fabrics at Joanne. Does that help? I'm thinking no. I'm thinking it's just so utilitarian with the plastic buckle. And even the way that it's uh, uh, puffed or quilted is making me feel a little bit like she's going in, she's going in SWAT team style. But under a jacket, like they are suggesting, that makes perfect sense. If you live in an area where it's really cold and you need an even 
even more um, warmth. That could work. Yeah, here's the line drawing. Yeah, the line drawing doesn't really help either. I don't know. Maybe some of you are seeing the goodness in this. For me, I, be, maybe because I just would, I have nowhere to wear that. Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. I'm going to give it a fair shot in my mind. Because I do live in a warmer climate in North Carolina, maybe this is all I would need and I wouldn't need like a full, I mean, I hardly ever, ever, ever wear a full coat. Sometimes I wear lightweight jackets and I am a little bit cold. What if I wore one of these? I do love a vest. I wonder if I swapped out this plastic buckle for that the D-ring kind. You can do that, right? That's not a hard swap. And made it out of a fabric that was a little bit more my style. Oh, I don't know. I'm still not feeling it. All right, now we have the Sala sweater dress. Uh, wonderfully simple midi length knit dress sewing pattern with straight cut raglan sleeves chunky turtleneck relaxed fit wrist length sleeves tapered toward the wrist okay and the wrist is accentuated with the the waist is accentuated with a wide belt which is fastened with belt loops um uh, yeah again I think this one's just a little too basic for me not my personal style I can see this looking really good and really chic on some, like I try and assign personal styles to the people in my life so that when I'm thinking of somebody other than me and I'm trying to call on like a more basic um, personal style, I can imagine, okay, would Katie be wearing this? Would Jessica be wearing this? Um, I can see some people pulling this off. Maybe not styled like this. Or I want to see this on her without the belt, actually. And I think it would look better. Without the belt, maybe a little, a little bit more fitted. And I think we could have gotten somewhere. This is just looking like a robe from the back, which I don't think is what they were going for. But the I'm sure the line drawings are good. Well, they're not great, but they're not, <laughs> they're not bad. They're not bad. I just don't know why the belt is so high on the bus line. Moving on to Lizzie Studio, the Bella dress. Wow, asymmetric off-shoulder dress. Wow, okay, stunning. Perfect blend of elegance and ease, designed to be a timeless statement piece. Drop shoulder, side gathering, mimics the look of a bias cut without the extra effort. Um, I don't think we're doing bias cut or I don't know about if I agree with this statement. It doesn't mimic the look of bias cut just because it's made out of a slinky fabric. So the extra effort of bias cut is actually worth it. Um, and you can't mimic the look of bias cut, in my opinion. Um, okay, fabric waste. Okay, I know, I know. She's right. She's not wrong. Like, it is extra effort. It is fabric waste. I get that. But... It, de it doesn't mimic the look of it. So that's where I disagree. This part right here is like, Meh, no, thank you. Um, optional slit adds a touch of allure while the invisible side zipper ensures a sleek silhouette available in three versatile versions, knee length, mini length, and a chic top. Something for everyone. Um, video tutorial, sizes double zero to 20. PDF booklet, all that stuff. Suggested fabric, which best with light to medium weight, non-stretch woven fabrics with flowy drape. If you prefer heavier or stiffer fabrics, opt for the mini or top version for stretch fabric size down one or two sizes. Okay, so good. Let's look at these photos. So we have off the shoulder, we have this ruching here, and we have um, fish eye darts in the back. The interesting thing to me is that there seems to still be a sleeve head here, meaning this isn't just a tube. Um, there's actually like a little bit of a bump out. That looks pretty stunning. Here's where the sleeve attaches again. Something about that just isn't feeling quite right to me. Yeah, that looks better. I would be interested to see how much of a um, sleeve head it has if it has any at all, I would probably remove it. Maybe reducing some length here would have helped a little bit so you don't get this huge fold. 
here. So see, okay, so she raised her arm and she's raising her shoulder. See how much better that looks? That's what I was trying to explain if I'm doing a terrible job at it. I'm so sorry. Um, again, raised arm cleans all this up a little bit. It just looks a lot better. Love that. Bust goes from 31 inches up to 46 and a half. So again, not the most size inclusive. I am like a midsize girly. I wear like a 14 in ready to wear last time I checked and this would fit me and I would be at the very large. I'd be at the very top of her size chart. All right. My keeper clothing came out with the remnant dress. Um, this blue on yellow needs to go. Um, remnant dress, what happens when I do this? Oh, that's worse. Um, is the ultimate scrap buster project offering endless creative possibilities. Embrace the joy of transforming your fabric remnants into beautiful, stylish addition to your wardrobe. Designed with flexibility and style in mind, allows you to mix and match various fabrics, resulting in a unique one-of-a-kind garment. Okay. Adaptable design, dressed up, dressed down, versatile silhouette, clever construction, maybe make it perfect for showcasing your favorite fabric scraps. Well, this is fun. I'm wondering if this is any different than any other sewing pattern, but instead of a regular sewing pattern where all the fabric, where you're making it all from, like the fabric requirements, the cutting layouts, all of that are always from one fabric. Is this just like described or laid out or something about cutting is done differently to help you make sure you have all the pieces and make sure that they are reversed. Like, I just need to know how it works. Because at the end of the day, it's just a button down dress. Oh, oh, sorry, or a wrap dress. Like this is very free people. This is very, very much up my alley. Um, but couldn't I just do this with another shirt dress pattern? Just cut it maybe. But I see how that would be confusing, right? It would be a little bit hard to like do that on your own. Lots of brain power. Does she somehow make it easier for you to navigate cutting all these pieces from one single piece of fabric? So we have Little Lizard King um, is hosting the Styla pattern. So Little Lizard King is little girls and boys and Styla is women's. So this is their new Henderson pattern. Um, it's pants and shorts. Okay. Hand in pocket, but not totally. So I, I can still see how the pant works. I'll take that. Design for woven fabrics, functional zip fly, full length, flood length, straight length, scalloped hem. Optional rectangle shaped front pockets, back welt pockets, back darts, belt loops. So here's a little scallop short, hands in pockets. This one has like a little hidden, like maybe a hook and eye or something. And they do have like kind of the traditional jeans pocket, a pretty deep waistband, which I, or wide waistband, which I really like. Maybe more of like a straight leg. Not to sound weird, but the crotches look pretty good on everybody so far. The rise is more of a mid rise. Yeah, for sure. Scallops, they are not easy, you guys. I know they're cute, and J. Crew does them all the time. Um, they do them with the facing, though. I wonder if that's how these are done. I'm sure that's how these are done. That's kind of the only way. The best way to do it is to clip your little heart out. Like, clip, 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 clip as much as you possibly can. Um, and clip into these points, like, scarily close. Um, so, oh, four darts across the back. I do like that a lot. A lot, a lot. Like I said, wide waistband, belt loops, kind of a straight leg. Um, we also have the short and the simple hem short. All of them have square pockets and welt pockets. So yeah, it's a pretty legit um, pants pattern. Um, this is fabric requirements. Uh, if you're making the full length pants, you'll need up to two and a half yards for all of them. The regular shorts are a one yard wonder. How is that possible in a size 16? Oh, up to 32. Mm, 32 is also only one yard of fabric based on 58 inches. So you'd have to, you can't like, it wouldn't be like 54, 56. That wouldn't be one yard. You'd have to like bump it up some, but it's still really close. Okay, Styla, if we can do this like a uh, slideshow type of photo thing for 
all of this. Can we please also do it for these? Thank you. Um, okay, uh, Petite Stitchery came out with the Adult Langley Dolman. Uh, nine fifty. The Langley Dolman sweater is a perfect wardrobe piece to add to your closet this fall. Blends the casual comfort of a knit fabric sweater and some stunning bespoke details. Optional sleeve color blocking, quilt block front applique. Line drawing. It doesn't get bigger. This one's kind of cool. I like it without the little thingy on it. This one's giving like, um, oh, what's that show that's like based in the 80s? The kids on the uh, bicycles, Stranger Things. <laughs> it's reminding me of Stranger Things. Okay, now this is zoomed in way too much. Oh no. This, I can't look at it this way either. Gosh. Okay, that's impossible. We're gonna have to look at it this way, which isn't the best. But yeah, it is kind of cool. Like, yeah, it's like quilters come over to our side. It can be fun. This must be applique as well, right? Like the fat, the the structure of the fabric looks the same. Here's another version. Yeah, you can have a lot of fun just mixing and matching. Oversized and slouchy. I'm not getting length differences really. Oh, here's a baby bump. That's cute. Um, like I'm not seeing the crop cropping. I think that that last one that I looked like it that I looked at it. I think this is the cropped version. I think it's not very. It's not crop cropped. Yeah, and I personally would just leave this off and do like a regular, a regular band. But I don't. That's just me. I don't like those bands. I mean, hers is okay because it's the same width as the rest of it. But look how cute it is with a little flare pant, a flare jean. That's really fun. Okay, cool. Oh, look, she, oh, this is a kid's version. Oh my God, a baby's version. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that is really cute. Can we get a dog version? Oh gosh, that would be awesome. Okay, we have patterns for pirates. They came out with the funsy onesie. <laughs> That's just fun to say. Perfect cozy sew. Make an everyday look with a sweatshirt knit, silly fun PJ with a fleece print, or a simple and quick costume. Change from regular neckband to a hood. Add some fun ears to the hood. Okay, don't forget pockets. All right, we have plain front, belly front. Belly front? What's a belly front? Necklines, two of them, crew neck or hood. She provides the ears, okay. Pockets, inseam, kanga pocket, belly kanga pocket. What's the difference between a kanga pocket and a belly kanga pocket? Optional zipper guard, suggested fabrics, are all of those like cozy type fabrics you're probably imagining. Extra, extra small to 6X. Is this the belly? This is the, this is what they mean by belly? Okay. So she kind of did lean in. They were released in October, right? So she leaned into the Halloween of it all, which is fine. Um, but you can make it pretty plain too. Okay, that's the Loch Ness monster, right? That's actually kind of funny. All right, there's Dad's version. I could do without the ankle cuffs. Here's Dad again. These poor husbands, they're like, oh my gosh, what do you have me on the internet wearing? The kids ones with the cuff, the um, ankle cuffs are cute. And then there's like a, this is kind of like a um, bomber jacket, the way that that's finished. Oh God. Are there any women in these? No. Okay. I guess it's sep the kids one is separate. Yeah, must be. Oh, here's the funsy onesie for hourglass figures. Does that mean women? Because there were no women in those other pictures. It's it's cute. It's cute. I think I've seen cuter onesies. This one feels a little like close fitting to me. Yeah, that's just like a lot to be wearing around the house just casually. Like I would never answer the door in that. My gosh, no. I am more into the free people, you know, really, really loose fitting ones. Okay, a co another um, membership based uh, pattern. This is the Closet Core Crew. 
It works the same way as Cashmere Rets does, where you pay for an unlimited plan and you get access to all the patterns, which would include this one. This is the Basalt shirt. Unique spin on the classic button-up, semi-fitted with elegant details, strikes the perfect balance between the special and everyday ending at high hip. Ending at high hip? Okay. Features a spread collar, hidden button placket, and is shaped with dramatic release pleats in the back. The long sleeve is punctuated with deep French cuffs that close with a button loop, and the hem is finished with a facing and a split at the side seams. What is this? Oh, dramatic release pleats in the back. Mm, I'd leave those out. This looks to me like, you know how um, like doctors wear their like doctor's coats and then they don't use the tie that comes with it. They just tie it in a bow in the back. That's kind of what this is giving. Yeah, maybe I was expecting a fit like this, but on her, it's not. It's definitely more fitted. I mean, it looks great on her, don't get me wrong, but it is it is more fitted on her than it is on this woman. So you could um, size up, I guess. The length of it is also, yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I get it. I get where she was going. I just don't know if it's all working for me but yeah something about, it must be these things I guess but then without these things then it's kind of like well then what is it it's just a boring button down which I don't like either so yeah I don't know maybe it needs to be longer maybe the no that's not it I was gonna say maybe because it's so wide I'd want it to be longer but that's not true because wide maybe it needs to be shorter Maybe it needs to be shorter. I don't know, guys. I want to like it, but something about it. I can't put my finger on it. They also came out with like a regular pattern. Just like anybody can buy this. It's outside of the membership. This is the Phoebe coat. Um, modern yet timeless. Double-breasted coat with cocoon shape. Fully lined. Dramatic notch collar and lapel that can also be worn closed to stop drafts. Okay, drop shoulder, roomy two-piece sleeve, oversized fit for layering, destined to keep you warm on the coldest of days. Okay, view A is below knee length with large patch pockets. View B is mid-thigh with inseam pockets. Yeah, just a really great modern coat. For sure. I think that Closet Core is based in Montreal. If I'm, if I, I know it's somewhere in Canada for sure. I'm pretty sure it's East Coast Canada and I'm pretty sure it's Montreal. So for sure I can see people in Montreal wearing something like this. Yeah, the line, the style lines of it though are pretty simple. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for line drawings. Did I pass them already? It's giving like a little bit of cocoon shape, and I don't know if that's intentional or not. Oh, here we go. Okay, I can't zoom in. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is definitely cocooned a little bit, which isn't my favorite, um, but I get how, I get why she did it probably, just to make it a little bit different. It's an easy enough thing for her to do as a designer to make it, I don't know, a little something different. Um, center back seam. This is the two piece sleeve, long version, short version. Now we have Michelle Design Co. This is the Nikki shorts pattern. Yikes, $16 for biker shorts? I don't know about that. No seam at the front, a crotch gusset, two big side pockets, wide waistband, new workout shorts, five inseam lengths. Also, how to add non-slip elastic to prevent them from riding up. Um, well, if you use the right fabric, you wouldn't need that elastic. Uh, Four-way stretch, 70% crosswise and lengthwise. Mm, I don't know about that either. 18 to 23% spandex. Okay. Yeah, I just can't get behind 
double digit pricing for a pattern that lots of people already have like uh, lots of pattern designers have already released them and they're under ten dollars for sure um here are our line drawings oh these are the inseam links so they're just like really by inches interesting sizing is a through r so the hip goes from 35 to 63 yeah, I don't even think the plus size is really something new. I think that there's those versions are available too. Like good looking versions of biker shorts are available for cheaper. So I'm just wondering, maybe she didn't do her research into the pricing. Like if this were, you know, an $8 pattern, call it like half the price. Um, I'd be like, okay, another biker short, perfectly reasonable. Yeah, 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 okay but I don't know about paying $16 for it. That's just me though. Maybe you don't mind it. And like I've said a million times, it's her business. She can charge whatever she wants. I just can decide whether I wanna pay that or not. And I would never. And if you're like me, then <laughs> there's other there's other biker shorts out there. Um, okay, so Petite Stitchery, we already talked about them once. I'm sorry that I didn't put them together. They released this Adult Langley Dolman and they also released this Adult Ellis Cardi. Okay, free people. She's really coming for them. Say hello to Ellis. Cozy and stylish. A uh, refresh on the classic cocoon style. Updated modern elements. Cozy's fit. Oversized fit. Uh, dolman sleeve style. Wide bishop sleeves or regular more slim down version. Hood. Adds comfort. Optional or exposed. Option for exposed or regular seams with color blocking or a simple version. Um, and then optional pockets. Oh, I see. It's, she's, okay, I see. It's an open front cardigan. I get it. The exposed sleeves are very, very, like, a signature of free people. So I kind of love that because um, I just love everything that they do. It just, I don't know, always looks so comfy. But dang, if their stuff isn't so expensive. And then you've got this cool little, like, scoopy pocket thing to fit the cocoon shape. I'm really bothered by the wavy hems. I wish that people would figure out how to use their sergers so that doesn't happen. Yeah, so you get the idea. That's probably nothing new. And to be honest with you, like the reverse seams, like that's, you could figure that out on your own. It's not that hard. I kind of really like this sleeve though. This is kind of lighter weight too. I don't know. I kind of really like it. Yeah, you can see the difference between that and... Okay, I was trying to make it work. It might. I just would have to size up like 45 times. I don't know if that's worth it. Um, plus, this seam I think really does add to it. And I think the drop shoulder dolman thing really adds to it too. So it is unique enough to buy. What is she charging? Yeah, less than $10. That's what I'm here for. Um super cool super fun something that i think i will remember which is which is how i earmark uh buying patterns these days like in, in a couple days i still remember it then i will seriously consider buying it the og membership uh you get two patterns from them every month whereas the others you only get one um, but they came out with the greer dress coming for the nico right like that Nico dress has really not had any competition for a long time, or if ever. And then they also released the Indigo Coat. Fitted mock neck dress. Timeless figure hutting knit dress with ankle skimming length that gives you, that keeps you feeling comfortable and effortlessly chic. Trumpet skirt. That's a little bit different. And subtly flared sleeves. That's also a little different. Okay. Unique silhouette. Touch of drama. Incredibly wearable. Yeah, slight bell to the sleeve. And she said it was a trumpet skirt. That's kind of thin. I would not have made it out of that fabric personally. Um, let's see the trumpet of it all. I'm not getting trumpet, maybe just a slight kick out. Um, the mock neck is also like wider, like more open um, than the Nico is. So some people might like that more. They might not like how close fitting then some people feel like it's choking them. Yeah, but that's like a tissue thin hotchy knit, I think. I don't like that one either though. 
that one's like a mid-weight jersey or something. It feels way too, uh, yeah, it feels too, mm, I don't know. I think I just only like it in rib knits. Okay, and then there's the Indigo Coat. Let's look at that sales page. All right, description. Unlined car coat. Weren't we just freaking talking about car coats? I am just so with it. Um, Indigo is a classic car coat designed for effortless laying and effortless layering and everyday wear. A-line silhouette, unlined construction, drop shoulders, inverted box pleat, thoughtful details like a rolled collar. A rolled collar is an amazing detail. If you've never sewn a jacket with a rolled collar, it's kind of life-changing. Sewn on placet, uh, placket, one inch buttons along the front, patch pockets with faced side opening. So indigo, okay. Let's look at these pictures. So it's the car coat, drop shoulder like she said, not very many buttons, which that's interesting. Um, big patch pockets though. I wish the collar were a little bit bigger to kind of match the oversizedness of everything else. So, uh, back now, uh, there's a yoke with a back pleat on that one. Yeah, nice, classic, almost like wants to be a trench, but also wants to be a wool coat. Like if those two things had a baby, impeccably made, like all their stuff always is. Um, yeah. Oh, there it is in a blue color as well on someone who's a different size. She's definitely shorter. I like how they did different color buttons. That's fun. This is the patch pocket with the side opening so that you can get into them, which I've talked about before. You have a patch pocket this high and your like elbows are up to your ears trying to get your hands in your pocket. So it's a lot more comfortable to walk around with your hands in your pockets this way than it is with the top opening. Okay, there are line drawings. That's the larger size range. Okay, that's it. So that's it. Those are our indie patterns from October. Um, let me know what you guys think of them and which ones you'll be adding to your stash, which ones you definitely won't, which ones you loved, which ones maybe you didn't love so much. If you have already sewn any of these, um, please let me know that too. What was your experience like? Um, did it turn out good? Did you like the instructions? You know, all of that kind of stuff. Other than that, that's going to do it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye!